Hey everybody, welcome back. Got another more of Outerview here. We are on King's Row. This is a console game. This is Silver 2. The player says, uh, felt like everything clicked this game. Felt sometimes I got too aggressive trying to secure a kill, which could be a bad habit. Usually push too far to secure a solo kill, end up getting killed uh, by the enemy team as they're coming back. Uh, let's see, since this game just under two weeks ago, I've now hit gold four in support strictly using Moira. Well, good job on uh, climbing. So... I'm sure there's going to be stuff that we can pick out here and keep you going even further. First thing, uh, I, I noticed this in a lot of... Uh, I noticed this in a lot of lower-ranked games. Um, and by lower rank, I, I mean like below gold, gold and below. It is, I, I see a lot of players, they're not ready before the round begins, and that happens a lot. Uh, as you rank up, it's gonna you're gonna get punished a lot for doing that. So um, now you you got here like kind of just in time, but we have to be careful about getting there too late. Um, what I was gonna say is there's an orb. You want to shoot an orb at their spawn, basically, and you want the doors to open like right when the orb gets there. So a really easy one to do is right about when the doors are gonna open. Shoot one right here, and it'll go in. The advanced one is if you back up to this thing right here, this uh, statue, and face this way, and then right when the countdown timer hits one second left before the round starts, you shoot an orb right here. It's going to bounce under here and come out and go right in their face. A lot of times they won't, like if they have a Genji or a Diva or somebody that, something like that, they're less likely to defect or deflect or eat that orb so um you get an orb off very soon right but here's the thing every second counts right you shot your orb at you know a few seconds after the round started whereas i would have shot my orb a second before before the round started right so i'd, I'd almost be to my next orb okay so let me turn my volume down here i'm i'm a little worried about our positioning we're doing a lot of standing in the very front of just everybody, you're going to get punished for that immediately in a higher rank. Okay. Like this Roadhog, in gold, I, you're probably already seeing this, he's not going to ignore you. Okay. I, I've noticed in bronze and sil silver especially, uh, players tend to tunnel vision a lot. Because there's a lot going on, right? It's this this game has a pretty steep learning curve, and even if you've played it for a long time and you haven't really gotten used to, you haven't like learned how to learn it, um, it, it can be very overwhelming, like with how much shit is going on on the screen. So that you you get a lot of players that tend to tunnel vision, and that's really common in in uh, bronze and silver. However, as you rank up, that really goes away. It drops off pretty quickly, actually. Um, so, you never want to be this person. You don't want to be the first player between you or the, you know, you don't want to have anybody or nobody between you and the enemy team, uh, especially when they're all there, right? Because on a higher rank, they're going to focus fire you and you're going to die, right? And we already died once. I like this pressure here. This pressure here is good. I, I don't like that your team didn't move up, but you, you, you did what you could. You got. You ended up getting the baby diva out of it. I like that, right? You're. It was a little risky, simply because if the the Cassidy can, he can flash, and shoot you. Um, I'm pretty sure they can get the combo off. I mean, I'm probably not expecting him to do it, uh, but where they they flash, um, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, his stun mechanic, and then uh, just headshot you before you can do anything, right? Especially if you're already low health. Okay, so we can hear somebody. Yeah, he was, he's, uh, oh man. I have my volume really low and I could hear him. Uh, crouch walking makes your footsteps quieter, but it doesn't make them completely go away. And I could hear him crouch walking. Okay, so the, you would have seen that coming. I don't know what that was. You can't do anything to that shield. And orbs don't, uh, orbs don't interact with, uh, like buildables, so uh, Symmetra turrets, Ilari healing station, whatever. Um, 
don't know what the hell that is. Really, the, I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on, to be honest with you. This is a clusterfuck. The problem with the, a match like this right now is you're not getting punished for the stuff that you're doing wrong. So it's, it's hard for me to uh, say, hey, you don't do this because... Well, it's not, you're not getting punished for it in the moment, so it's like, well, why wouldn't I do it type of thing, right? And the reason why you don't want to do this, now, this is fine, like, because once you, well, this is bad. <laughs> it was fine until, like, when you chase the cast, chasing this was bad, right? You're too close to their spawn, and, and you called yourself out on this. Uh, but you have to ensure um, you're not overextending. But we have to we have to work on using cover and not being the first person in front because it, as I said, is you probably you're probably already running into it in gold, um, where you do that to somebody in an enemy team in gold, they're just gonna shoot, they're just gonna kill you. Okay. And all three of our deaths so far, one hundred percent preventable, especially on this map. Moira can play very safe on this map. Because since the the um, walls and stuff are very forgiving for your orbs, you can... You can... Uh, <laughs> this, this, this game is... It's like... It, I keep ru it keeps ruining my train of thought because I'm like, what the... F why? Why is this happening? <laughs> it is. So the... The paths are very forgiving, right? So you can shoot orbs around a corner basically in every part of this map. Right? Yeah, it seems like you're attempting to destroy the turrets with the orb. So maybe you didn't know that, but now you, you know that orb doesn't interact with any buildables. None. Same as shields. It doesn't interact with shields. Um, and that's good to know for a few reasons. One, so you don't shoot orbs at it. But um, something that I like to do a lot is against Zarya, right? The orb won't hit her bubbles. So, he, he just did another flank high noon. Um, Moira's orb doesn't interact with Zarya's bubbles, so if you shoot the orb at her, like, while she's, like, trying to retreat around a corner and uses another bubble, um, she's gonna expect to not take any damage and then be around the corner and be fine, but then you got that full orb kind of chasing her, right? And if she's not careful, you can... <laughs> See? And that's what I'm talking about, like forgiving orbs, and then Symmetra just playing with her monitor off. Um, you get a lot of sneaky damage on Azaria that way. Yeah, we're way too far forward. I don't like this at all. Okay, I, even, even against the Silver team, right? Because you need to build the right habits. So, while you're up here, I'm probably right here. I'm holding this corner. Okay, because my tank's here, so that way, if somebody walks in and they engage my tank, they don't see me, or they come around the corner, they look at me, and now they're not looking at my tank, right? Because I'm forcing their attention in two different ways, in two different directions at the same time. Okay, so that's where I want to be, because then if I'm here and somebody pushes me, okay, I just fade around the corner, right? And that's what's so good about King's Row is there's there's these corners everywhere, and you're always just you know, one fade away from safety. So use that to your advantage. Yeah, because us just being, like, right here up in the shit, like, yeah, that's how silver games go, but, you know, we don't want to play in a silver game. I'm fine with this, honestly, um, because you're staggering them. The only catch is don't, uh, in, in the future, don't, uh, there's a turret, assume turret right over here. Um, don't just ult in an honest face because she'll sleep you. And even in a silver game, she could still do it by accident. So unless you know she doesn't have sleep, uh, you have to engage her from an angle. So she has to turn, and then when she turns, she's less likely to hit you when she throws to sleep. And you can also bait that out, right? You can come around the corner or whatever and, and, and coalesce from an angle. And then as soon as she starts to turn around and look at you, you just go behind cover. And she'll probably shoot the sleep dart. And then you just go back out and kill her. 
another completely preventable death. We're just standing out in the open. Okay, so the uh, big picture so far is we need to... Just gonna, oh, it looks like we died again. All right, let's see on that round. Okay. Um... I can't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> the big picture here, though, is we have to get out of the open. We have to be using cover, right? Which is what I... Kind of the... 9 out of 10 people uh, are are in their rank, probably due to poor positioning, right? It, and that includes every metal rank. So it's not just, you know, bronze and silver players. It's, I, I would say, all the way through diamond. Uh, positioning is like the major factor, right? Above that, you start running into things where you just don't, you don't really recognize how to operate with your team or how to operate against the enemy team uh, and, and understand when to kind of switch your play style. But down, basically, like below that, um, it's, uh, it's definitely positioning, okay? So you don't want to be the first person to engage, okay? You want, you want somebody else to engage first. Typically, it's your tank, right? Because they want to go in and soak up resources. But we don't want to um, put ourselves in a dangerous position. Okay. So, big thing I'm seeing here, positioning. We're get, we're not really kind of we're not really aware of where our team is in relation to us, and we're getting ahead of our tank like a lot. Okay. Uh, also, you guys stop jumping. Okay. This is uh, and you're on a controller. Just save yourself the button. Oh. Jumping makes you easier to track, right? People think it's the opposite, but it's it's when you go up against somebody with good good tracking and good aim, um, you're gonna find that they track you way better when you're jumping, right? So unpredictable strafing is way more impactful than jumping because when you jump, you're moving slower, you're moving in this slow arc, and it's really easy to track. When you're moving back and forth like this, and you do it at kind of like a random random pattern, like that, it, it makes it like infinitely harder to hit, right? I play against top 500s who can't hit me because I'm strafing correctly. Right. It's a good fade. I probably would have faded a little bit faster. Or sooner, I mean. Because that ultimate deals out a lot of damage all at once. She's just going to eat that. I don't know what the I don't know why the brig's standing there. Just stand in the open. <laughs> See, you can take advantage of that stuff, but you don't want to be the one doing that, right? So like this, like how you're using cover right now, waiting for your tank, that's good. You need this is like most of your gameplay needs to look like that. Okay. And we need to get out of the open. You gotta be careful about the Sombra. Okay. Maybe she doesn't know she can cancel your ult, but that's probably the case, right? Higher rank Sombras, they're gonna, they will specifically wait you out. I like the orb. Yeah, and if you stop jumping, it's one less button to press. Uh, we're definitely sitting on our cooldowns a lot. I wanna see you cycle your orbs more often. And by more often, I mean just be constantly just shooting them out. Every eight seconds, just shit out an orb. You see how we're just kind of unnecessarily taking damage from this Farah because we're standing in the open with everybody? You don't need to do that. Her damage, Moyo's damage beam is really far. Okay. It's the same as Roadhog's hook and, and Briggs' whip shot. They're all, all three of those are the same distance. So if you ever feel like you got hooked across the map, it's the same thing. That's how far Moira's damage beam goes. So use that to your advantage. And on top of that, people who are farther away are easier to track, right? Because they're smaller on your screen. If you have somebody right up in your face and they're moving all around like like this, like really quickly, uh, they're harder to track. Now, the forgiveness of Moira's damage beam, it's not like they're impossible to track. It's just the farther people are away from... Um, from you, the easier they are for you to damage. So, anyway, use that to your advantage. And definitely stop jumping. 
I mean, I'm fine if you did that intentionally to, like, to reset. I... I don't often die intentionally. Um, I usually try to get out, but that's not... I, I mean, that's not a, a hard and fast rule. Because usually I'm, I'm positioning myself in such a way that I can get out if I need to. Okay. But that's not always the case. I don't know how we didn't die there. It almost seems like nobody's even doing anything about the Faro. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. That was that was much better. That was much better strafing. Now, wh what I'd like to say is that don't take intentionally take dangerous duels because you can strafe because people can still hit you accidentally and the other thing is is they made the hitboxes bigger and um it, it's actually really hard to crouch strafe against widows now because all they got to do is kind of aim in between the upper like when you're standing and when you're crouching and you, they'll still get a headshot it, it actually kind of sucks how easy it is to do now um so i don't crouch as much as i used to but um i still strafe a lot Okay, big picture. Uh, yeah, we got to get out of the open area. Get out of the open area. Get off the payload. Use cover. Okay. Don't be the first one to ga engage. Don't be the closest enemy to the closest person to the enemy team. Okay. Work on all that stuff. Really, I don't. I don't have aside from cycling your cooldowns more often. I don't have much to say about your kit usage okay. or your coalescence usage. I, I thought they were decent for what they were. Um, Absolutely got to focus. On, like, we can't do this. This is... This will get you killed in a higher rank. Okay. And it probably is. So use cover and use the distance of her damage beam to your advantage. So, Okay. Well, uh, good stuff. I'm glad you're in gold. Hope you continue climbing. Um, and that this can help you uh, maybe get into plat sometime soon. So, all right. Well, that'll about do it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.